Okay, now I have the tail assembly in place. Now, since we can't technically turn the pump off, once the wind is blowing really high uh, and we want to shut the pump down, we need to be able to turn it out of the wind. Now the simplest solution I could come up with was to use a couple of little gate latches that allow that to unlock and then lock in place so that the wind will turn the windmill out of the wind and slow it down. And once we've had the wind slow back down and lock it back into place. And as you can see the tail assembly is made using two pieces of flat steel welded onto another small spacer and then a, a sign was cut down and is held in place with three screws quite a simple configuration. Now the overall measurements of the tail is two feet long by 15 inches tall. Now I've cut a little, it may not be large enough. I won't really know until I get the whole assembly up on the tower to see the, to see it blowing in the wind. Now you'll notice my pivot is made up of two large washers welded onto the angle on the top and then on the bottom I welded another with a small piece of steel to bridge that gap. And then I made a couple of small brackets out of angle iron to attach our gate latches. You'll notice I have the springs on there. I'm not sure that those are going to be necessary. Uh, in the initial or original configuration of the pump, I needed about 12 pounds of lift and 4 pounds of downward pressure. And in my bench test, I was getting uh, static about 6 pounds either way. Uh, so I've added the springs. And that gives it a little extra oomph so that it'll kind of center on its own. Now once I've got the system up and running, uh, I may be taking those springs off. We'll see. Now as you can see, I've mounted the blade assembly onto the actuator. It doesn't take a whole lot of wind to get it to spin actually catches the wind pretty well. One, one issue, one challenge I'm having is clearance on the blades at this point. I've had to go in and make some adjustments to the position of the blades. Notice I did have them all centered but found that the windmill itself wouldn't rotate because I, the blade assembly sat too far back and I was hitting the lower edge of the mini tower. But I think I've got all of those little kinks worked out. Once the tower assembly is completed, we'll know for sure.